Rick Harrison from Pawn Stars has always tried to come across as a wholesome family man, but in reality, he's gone through several divorces over the years. Who he really is behind the scenes is far from how he chooses to portray himself. This will make you rethink everything you thought you knew about him. Rick has been married four times so far, and divorced three times. Like I said, this doesn't really fit in with the way he's been trying to come across. He even kept his last divorce a complete secret from the public. It's clear that there are parts of his personal life that he wants to keep hidden from the public. There's obviously nothing wrong with that. But the issue is that he's still trying to maintain this persona that he's the perfect family man, even though that's just really not true at all. Rick got married to his first wife, Kim Harrison, in 1982, after she had a miscarriage when Rick was just 17. At first, it seemed like they had a happy relationship. They even had two children together who we know are Corey and Adam. But their marriage didn't last long at all, and they separated three years later when Rick was around the age of 20. Surprisingly enough, they actually separated just months after the birth of their son Adam in 1985. Since the two of them got married and divorced long before Rick's Pawn Stars fame, we really don't have that much information about Kim. While it seems like she's still close with her sons, there's actually a lot of confusion about why they got divorced, especially with a newborn baby. It's clear that they were both very young when they got married in the first place, which could have been a main factor in their eventual decision to separate. But for someone who claims to be such a family man, it's interesting that Rick seemingly didn't want to at least try to make it work for longer, especially when you factor in their children. And on top of that, he seemingly left Kim with the children to deal with on her own, while he went on to live his life freely and without responsibility. After that, Rick got together with his next wife, Tracy Harrison. Tracy was his longest marriage, as they were together for just over 25 years. When recounting how he met Tracy, Rick said that after he and Kim ended things, he didn't know what to do with his life. Apparently, he was bumming around, trying to find both himself and a job. As he said, he was completely broke, which he described in his book, Licensed Upon. At the same time, he was set up on a blind date with Tracy by their mutual friends. This was just eight months after his divorce from Kim. When he and Tracy got together, Rick claimed that he didn't exactly know what was going to happen between them, but they immediately hit it off and were soon married the next year. Once they were together, Tracy became like a mother to Rick's children, and they even later shared a son of their own named Jake, who was born in 2003. Tracy also began working at the pawn shop with Rick once they were married, and over the years, she brought in regular customers of her own. While they also seemed to have a great marriage, the two of them eventually divorced in 2011 after 25 years of being together, and we were never really given a reason why this happened, which is pretty shocking since it really seemed to come so out of the blue. Rick once again left his wife while they still had an 8-year-old son, and she was once again left to raise the child on her own. Although it's clear that Rick has a good relationship with all of his children, as both Corey and Jake are working for the family business, it seems to be a common theme that Rick likes to get married way too fast and then leave when things get tough. And for someone who claims to be such a family man, it's confusing why he would be so willing to divorce his previous wives while they had young children to look after. Two years after his relationship with Tracy ended, he once again tied the knot with a woman named Deanna Burden. This marked the third time that he got himself into a marriage without dating the woman for very long long beforehand. While she was slightly younger than him by a few years, it seemed like he and Deanna had a lot in common. She also had three children herself, who she brought into the marriage with her. Just one year after getting married, Rick spoke to people and said that he was the happiest man alive and that he was truly living the dream. What's also interesting is that this was Deanna's third marriage too. Rick joked about the situation at the time and said that they were kind of like the Brady Bunch, since he had three sons and she had three daughters. That said, this marriage also ended in divorce. After staying together for seven years, they finally made the decision to separate, but they did so secretly. By obtaining legal documents, TMZ was able to report in 2021 that Rick and Deanna divorced in the summer of 2020. Not only that, but Rick was the one to file for it. In the reason for the divorce section, Rick said that their tastes, mental dispositions, views, and likes and dislikes had become so different that they were no longer compatible. On top of that, he said that there was absolutely no hope for them to be able to make up. While it's alleged that Deanna asked him for alimony following the divorce, a secret settlement agreement was reportedly reached in September 2020. Once the divorce was out in public, Rick explained that even though he was the one to file, the separation was a mutual decision. And while we can't know this for sure, many people have speculated that their differences might have been political. At the time of their divorce, the George Floyd protests had just begun and the country was struggling with the pandemic as well as the presidential race. Even though we don't know what Deanna's political affiliation is, Rick has been very outspoken about his support for former President Donald Trump. He's openly campaigned for him and has even attended his rallies. Although it's impossible to know if this was the reason for the
their downfall, there's no doubt that 2020 was an extremely difficult time for everyone. It's possible that all of the combined events and stress of the year contributed to them eventually deciding that they didn't want to be together anymore. And with quarantine, more couples were spending more time together than ever before. So maybe Rick and Deanna were finally faced with the reality that they didn't have as much in common as they originally thought. After Deanna, Rick reportedly married a woman named Amanda Palmer in 2021, and they still appear to be together. Whatever your thoughts on Rick are, there's no doubt that he clearly isn't the person that he's made himself out to be. The biggest problem when it comes to all his divorces is no doubt the fact that he continued to leave his ex-wives with his young children. Plus, the fact that he hid his last divorce from Deanna seems extremely telling about the kind of person that he is when the cameras aren't rolling. But what do you guys think about all this? Why do you think he got divorced from his first ex-wife? What do you think about Rick leaving his previous wives while they still had young children to take care of? Let me know in the comments below.